Welcome back to the top 10 ways to improve data warehouse performance. The last time we talked about how to shrink data access using primary indexes or sparse indexes. Now we're gonna talk about how even just with primary indexes, you can shrink data access even more using query optimization. Primary indexes by themselves can shrink data access by 10X or more and increase compute performance by 10X or more because it shrinks the amount of data you're pulling over and you're storing in the compute cluster. But sometimes, especially when you're dealing with terabytes of data, that's just not enough. There are other tricks you can use, starting with query optimization or how you reorder and rewrite the query to both cut down the amount of data you're accessing and the cost of certain types of compute operations. In Firebolt, the query optimizer takes each query and rewrites it for you versus you having to rewrite it on your own to reduce the amount of data that needs to be fetched or scanned or even more. So for example, when it comes to using the primary index, you have to figure out how to push down the predicates to filter your data before you fetch them and before you do other operations. So that includes multi-level predicate or group by or other operator pushdowns to multiple levels versus the single level pushdown you might see in other data warehouses or engines. It also replaces expensive operations like joints, for example, with other combinations wherever possible, perhaps replacing that join with a bunch of lookups followed by a semi-join. And it will look to see what other kinds of optimizations, including what other kinds of indexes it can use in the query to replace data access and compute with pre-computed results. This is combined how the query optimization can introduce yet another order of magnitude improvement in performance. You may remember that little box in the diagram that said other indexes. We're gonna to start to go through those because in most cases, a sparse index and query optimization is enough. But sometimes, especially as your data grows into the tens of terabytes or hundreds of terabytes, they may not be. So for those times, we've added other types of indexes and we're gonna keep adding more. One of the most popular types of indexes is the aggregating index. If you have a lot of metrics to compute for dashboards, like the ones you saw in the Looker dashboards at the beginning, sometimes the best thing to do is pre-compute and we'll show you how that's done. 